Hello there, Gemini. Welcome to your November 2022 love reading. Let's see what's going on for our Geminis. Let's see. We have... Ooh, the hangman. You've been waiting. Waiting for something. But you know, when you're waiting, we can't rush things because we need to wait for something. Something always ends up working out better because we waited. And we are impatient. So this is Pisces energy. You're waiting for something to happen. You're seeing things in a new perspective, though. Okay, crossing you, we have the King of Swords. This could be your energy. This could be someone coming towards you. It could be Aquarius, a Libra, or Gemini. Let's get a charm on this person. We have a spider. Hmm. Well, with the spider, if this is you, then wait for something to come towards you. Because most spiders, if they have webs, they wait for something to come towards them. That's meant to be. So I'm almost getting that's the energy here. The spider waits. The hangman's waiting. So if it's you, but someone else, they might be waiting for you to come towards them. Or they're waiting for something to happen before they can come to you. You might be waiting for someone to come towards you, and it might be they need to wait for something to happen. <laughs> so there's uh, any case I feel waiting here. Okay. So now, the general energy, we have the strength. Be strong. You have the strength. This is saying you have the strength to do whatever you need to do here. This is Leo energy. This is, um, you're strong and gentle at the same time. This is the, just feeling the strength within you. And you're going to feel it. If you don't feel it now, you will feel it because you are getting stronger and stronger. In the recent past, we have the Ace of Cups. Okay, a lot of love in the past here. Some kind of peak experience of emotion. It could be even farther in the past. I, I was saying that someone's saying, no, it goes back farther for some. Some, it goes back a long way. All right, so for some of you, it is back farther in the past that some kind of emotion that you experienced in the past okay well we're gonna clarify all these coming in the near future we have this oh this waiting again look at this you've been waiting for a very long time for something i'm telling you though there's got to be a reason for it don't rush anything because it won't come out as good as you can if you just be patient and wait so you put something in motion could have been this love for the past trying to maybe contact someone they didn't contact you yet they might be not contacting you until they get their life situated. They don't want to come prematurely. If they approach you with what's going on right now, for some of you guys, it's going to be like, I don't want this. No. And they know that. So they're better off taking the chance of losing you completely than coming towards you knowing that you're going to turn them away. I, I don't know. That's what I'm getting here. So let's see what else is coming in for you guys. Oh, the page source. So eventually there will be some, some kind of communication. But this is also the spy guy. Someone's watching you. Um, this could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This could be someone uh, watching your social media. This could be also, you know, someone for a job. This, if you're waiting for a job to come in, you've been waiting for a long time. This could be the recruiters, the headhunters that are watching, that are checking you out. Or if this is for love, this could be someone from the past or someone new that is watching you, that is uh, trying to figure out how to approach you, what to say to you. And when I see this card in particular here, I see all these little birds here. These are messengers. This, these are They fly out. They check things out. And they come back. They report. That's what I get with that one. Let's see. So they could be sending other people going by your house or asking about you or something so you don't know. We have the seashell. See, now that sounds like it. You know how they say when you listen to this, this, this is the, the conch shell. When you listen to this, it's like you can hear the ocean. You know, this certain shell here, this big shell. So that's why I say this person might be waiting to hear back. They put something out there and they're waiting to hear back. It's a, re a report back. Okay, I'll see what else we have here. We have the four of coins. Well, someone's hanging on tight to you. You may not be aware of it. Even if you're not seeing them or, or they don't know that they're around someone, it's holding back. Some, some For some of you too, this could be someone's going to make an offer. And they're going to offer you one pentacle. That's why you see why I see this one. But they have these other ones here. But they're going to start with one. Will you take this? And if you won't take that and say, well, will you take two? Or will you take three? Will you make, that's not going to be for everyone. This could be for a job offer. So if you're waiting for a job, you might be able to get more than what they first offer. You can negotiate here is what this is saying. So there's a, this is a negotiation card. But for some of you, it's just someone's holding it on real tight to you. Okay. Then we have, oh, yes. People see you as victorious. Um, if they don't, they will. 
this is a card saying that you are going to be a victor here. You're going to get recognition. You're going to be on the spotlight. You're going to get acknowledged for what you do. Okay, and then we have the high priestess. Oh, yes. Your intuition is on fire. Pay attention to what you're hearing here. It's like there's also you know things that other people don't know. You're aware of things that they don't know you're aware of. You are, <laughs> you know some secrets and they have no idea. And you're, you're looking at them, they're, maybe let's say a workplace and they're talking their, their bull, right? And you're sitting back and you're just smirking to yourself. You say, I know the truth. <laughs> you know, that's what I feel here for this. This is Virgo Cancer Energy. Okay, so what's the possible outcome for you? We have a star. You're going to shine bright. Hopes and wishes and dreams come true. This is Aquarius Energy. This is saying that, yeah, you you got the victory card here. You got a victory card here. Things are going to play in your favor. You just The important thing is be patient. Your patience is going to pay off better than you ever imagined. Okay, now um, the Five of Swords. There's competition here. Yes, there's people that are not liking how well you're doing. They don't like it one bit. Okay, five has changed. And we have Knight of Wands coming in here. So we have, this could be an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. Someone's coming in with a lot of passion for you. Okay, and we have the Two of Cups. There is a divine partnership coming together for you. This is this could be work or it could be um in love. Let me get a charm for this um, Knight of Wands. Let's see, we have here. Okay, we have the elephant, memories, big memories. This person, okay, so this is a person from the past. Might be this Ace of Cups um, energy here coming back in. This person coming in with a lot of passion and desire for you. They're going to come in quickly. They might be a little impulsive, but there's, um, I almost feel for some of you guys that they might see these other people trying to attack you or something, and they're going to come to your defense. Say, no, 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 Gemini's not like that, you know. You, back off jack you know it's like one of those type things okay let's see here let's start clarifying why do we have the hanging man here why is the hanging man here for gemini the empress yeah you're coming into your empress energy that's why you have to wait because things are going to fall into place perfectly if you give it the time it needs if you rush something you're not going to get this status here. Okay, so this is Libra Taurus energy. Um, this is, yeah, this, you're coming into this. You're, uh, this is financial abundance. If you're looking for financial matters to change in your favor, this is saying, oh yeah. This is also could be um, saying that someone's going to find out they're pregnant or you're going to find out someone's pregnant. This is, um, you know, giving birth to a new situation, a new job, a new business, a baby. You know, this is giving birth to something. This is creation. Okay, now let's see. What about this King of Swords? Ooh, see what this? This is commitment and this is also financial abundance. Does he cross in here? So this King of Swords is coming in or waiting for you or you're waiting for them or whatever's going on here. It's coming in with a commitment and also could come in with financial abundance. This is, you know pretty nice here what about the strength card having the strength to really have the patience that is really strong if you if you're able to be patient that is speaking of your strength it's, it takes a lot more strength to be patient than to be impulsive okay let's see let's clarify here the moon this is hidden this is your hidden strength people don't realize how strong you actually are pisces energy so we have pisces with the hanging man pisces with the moon here you have the, your inner strength is very strong and people don't see it because you hide it. You don't let people know how strong you really are. Okay, what about the Ace of Cups? There was heartache over this love here. There's a This is a tremendous love here and there's a, someone hurt someone. Could have been third party that came in between. Now, a third party could have been someone cheated. It doesn't necessarily have to be that way. It could be that someone had other things outside of the uh, connection that broke you guys up. Whether it was addiction, it could have been drugs, it could have been drinking, it could have been um, could have been sex, and also um, you know like pornography or something. This also could be also addiction to um, working, always working, or it could be family got involved and broke you guys up, or friends. 
It could be anything outside the connection. Okay, now what about this Three of Wands? Wow, yeah, this is coming together to work. This is going to be, you're waiting for this opportunity either for a, a job to come in to work together on a team or maybe an opening on a team. If it's like in your company, there, you know, you're waiting for the opening so that you can be part of that team. Or it could be love. Partner up with someone. Okay, what about this page of swords? Okay, there's some, this person's coming in with some happiness here. They want to be with you. They want the, you know, the ace of cups plus the nine cups making the ten of cups. They want a happy family life with you. This person's coming towards you with an offer. Once they know when the right time is. Now, again, it also could be up for business. Make It might be a family business. You might be, um, being brought into a family business. And what about this um, four coins? Ace of Swords. Uh, Ace of Swords. Why did I say Ace of Swords? Queen of Swords. Okay, we have the King and Queen of Swords. I feel like, okay, this feels like more like someone else to me with this King, but I feel like this is your energy and whoever's coming towards you, you're going to have your sword up. You know, you're going to fight for whatever you deserve here. You're not going to take someone's breadcrumbing you. That's not going to happen. Okay, what about this Four of Wands? Ooh, King of Cups. Okay, here's another person coming in with love for you. A lot of emotions, a lot of desire for you. Let me get charms on these guys now. With the Queen of Swords, we have... Oh, you're seeing things clearly. The glasses here. So whatever's happening, people think they're trying to break from you or trying to give you less than what you deserve. You're not going to go for it. And this is a salamander. This person is all protection. This is a person that is very adaptable to change. But they're also, I think, you have people that want to protect you. Because I feel like this person wants to protect this person. For these people, these people here, they're, they're jealous of you. Because of how great you do with whatever you do here. What about the high priestess? Why do you have the high priestess here? Oh, you have options. You know, there might be some hidden options. Because with the high priestess... You, there, things could be hidden. So there might be hidden options that you don't even know about yet. Okay, but you do have options. What about the star? Why do we have the star here? Oh, the Knight of Wands. Yes, you definitely have this Knight of Wands coming in. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. A lot of passion and desire for you. They're coming in. And we have, oh, and we have, if you hear that knocking, I have a woodpecker banging on the house here. This is memories. Wow, elephant again. This is the same person. <laughs> they're coming in and they're coming in strong. It's, I, so I think they come in before this happens and then they come back to protect you. Oh, that woodpecker. Oh, that, that could mean something too. Someone might be uh, someone knocking on your door. Opportunity. Because they're knocking on my, my house here. Oh, jeez. Okay, and what about the five of swords we have? Oh, the knight of cups. Look at these people coming in. Here's another offer. Wow. So, yeah, so people might be getting jealous you're getting all these offers. That's why there's um, conflict. Someone's trying to start trouble. And you have this Knight of Cups, too. So, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. And this person's trying, the Wheel of Fortune, destined to be here um, to make you this offer, this love offer. And, um, oh, my gosh, the Page of Cups. Okay, maybe it's not happening yet, but you've got all these people offering you something here. Offering you to love or maybe an apology here. Um, with the Page of Cups. This is off Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. That could be the one here with the Apology. Oh, a Dragonfly. Transformation. Trying to change the situation. They want to transform this. They want to offer you a cup. It might be a surprise, though. And there's some sneaky behavior here, too. I mean, these, these people might be sneaking up on you because there's so many people that are interested in you. Or also, someone might be holding back. Or you might be holding back. Wow. <laughs> Let's see what else we have here. But yeah, it looks like you're going to have a lot of people knocking on your door because that woodpecker felt like it was going to knock right inside my house. <laughs> That's a sign. Opportunity knocks. <laughs> Let's see. So you've been waiting, 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 and all of a sudden, when this starts flowing, you're going to be able to close the floodgates. <laughs> Let's see what else we have for you, Gemini. We have, yeah, a new beginning, leap of faith, full card, Aries and Aquarius. A lot of passion, desire here. Could be in a, a job, a business. Love, your third eye is wide open too. 
Oh, wow. Now we have the page of wands. Yeah, you're going to have contact. People are going to contact you. And I wish that woodpecker would stop. I'm making holes in the house. <laughs> oh, this is Eiffel Tower here. This could be someone coming from you. Opportunity come from France. From French. Um, You could be French. You could be in France. Or it could be something to do with French or France here. Um, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is someone coming towards you. This could be... um. A text, an email, a phone call. Let's see here. There's a lot coming in, though, with that woodpecker. Here's a queen of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, we have... This is a little lock. Here's a lock with a number five. Five is changes. So we have a lock here. Someone might have had a lock on something. Or something was locked up. Um, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your independence. There's new opportunity to make money. You're going to be very comfortable here with your money. And it, you might be locking up your money or keeping it safe. Or they're telling you to keep it safe with the lock. Or, you know what? Keep a lid on this. Don't tell people how well you're doing. That's what I'm getting from that. That is your energy. Doing quite well here financially. See what else we have here? The lover is a partnership, a choice. You definitely have a choice here. Gemini energy is your energy. And we have the Queen of Swords coming up again. Yeah, um, staying in your truth here. Queen of Swords. It's Aquarius, uh, Libra, Gemini. Um, making sure you get the truth. It's, um, oh, an anchor. Someone wants to anchor something down with you. They want a, um, a long-lasting relationship. They want to, a long-term relationship. They want to settle down. This stability. Um... But also, I'm looking at this Queen of Swords, looking over at this. You might be looking back on the past. This person's come back and say, I don't know. You better prove yourself. Something has to be um, right before you'll settle down with this person. But you do have a lot of options. Wow. You're waiting, waiting, waiting. Then poof. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yeah. Here we got the Ten of Pentacles. You're coming into a lot of money. Financial stability here. Long-term commitment. This is you, Queen of Pentacles, with this Ten of Pentacles. And it could be a partnership you're getting involved in, too. It could be a partnership that's bringing all this together. Let's see what else we have. We have, hang, see, hanging man, waiting, waiting for the right time, waiting for seeing things in a new perspective, but get being enlightened. See that? And then we have, yeah, there's going to be a partnership. See, this is coming together. Some kind of teamwork, partnership, working together. And the four of wands. Look at this. Long term here. I see that you're going to have this um commitment here this could be marriage this could be a business this is a solid foundation this is really nice okay well let's see what words we have what are the words for you oh my god we got a lot of them don't we okay so i got to see how many i have here oh please stop banging okay knight of wands let's see what do we have for the knight of wands what's the word on the knight of wands we have married finish okay someone might be re coming into you because their marriage is over and they're coming to see you this could have been something that happened in the past that you were with this person you both went your separate ways got married and now they're maybe you're free and they're free and they're coming in now this one we have okay so now this knight of cups we have thoughts lying spying Ooh. okay either this person is thinking you're lying they're spying on you or they're lying and spying on you and they're thinking about you <coughs> take a help resin you know use the words to how it works for you i'm going to do this other knight of wands underneath we have here we got two serious Ooh, shocking whatever this person's coming in it's going to be serious and it's going to surprise you it's going to shock you when they show up. This is um, Aries Scorpio energy. Now let's see about this Page of Cups. What's the scoop on this Page of Cups? We have Meaning, Karma, Lover. Ooh. So maybe this person is meeting their karma now or they want to have a meeting with you and they're, they're a lover, they want to be a lover or they're about their lover or something about karma and a lover. You know how to do it. <laughs> it's whatever way it works for you. Now, the next one is this King of Swords. 
we have message, apology, return, eventually. Ooh, this person's going to message you. They want to apologize, and eventually they're going to return. Okay, now this page of swords, this spy guy, spy girl. Let's see what's going on with that one. We have accused TikTok. Okay, running out of time. I always like to put TikTok on top. Accused denying love. Oh, see this person you might have been with before, or they they may have denied their love. Now they come back to to confess that they do love you. What about this King of Cups? We got so many people here. Oh my god. <laughs> Truth, later, breakup. Okay, so they're going to tell you the truth later about a breakup. If that makes sense. Okay, what about the Queen of Swords? We have obsessed, thinking, expect. Okay, this person might come in, or someone might come in and say that they've been obsessively thinking about you. So expect that. Okay, what about this um, page of wands? Got two for this. Cheater. Unknown cheater. Ooh, you might find out that someone was cheating. You didn't know about it. Maybe they're cheating in Paris. <laughs> oh, my God. What about this lock with this um, Queen of Pentacles? We have committed money very soon. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, you know what? This makes sense. This is very soon money's coming in. That com some some money is coming in for you, and you're gonna have to you know make made some commitment to get this money, or maybe you're committed to making money, but you can put a lock on that. Don't let people know because you're coming in some serious money. If you tell everybody, everybody's gonna have a handout, and they weren't there for you before. So um, you know, I would not tell anybody about the money you're making or the or whatever's coming in. And just see how people act to you when they don't think you have money. Hmm. That would say a lot. Married. Future. Ooh, shock. Okay. So there's going to be some kind of shock. Maybe you're going to get married in the future and can shock everybody. Or something to that extent. We have Scorpio and Aries energy here. There's going to be some kind of shocking information about married in the future. Okay. Now we got all the people, right? Yeah, all the people. Now we do the signs. What signs do we have here? This is so exciting. I can't wait to know what happens. You guys got to let me know. Fill me in, please. Inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> Let's see here. What signs do we have? We have... Oop, two came out together. Aquarius Virgo. And we have Gemini. There you go. Next one is Aries. Sagittarius. Let me move this up a little bit. Oh, you know what? I'm not doing it too good here. Let's see. We'll move these up like this. Put these together. Hi, oh, jeez. Jeez, Marie. Come on. <laughs> What's going on? Alrighty. Alrighty. Let's see. Okay, now. Take this one. So one, two, three, four. Okay, I got you one more. Let me shake up this more. I'm going to just move them over this way. Come, I want to make sure you see them. Cancer and Leo. Okay, so the signs we have for you. Placement your chart. Placement other people's chart. Past, present, future. Aquarius, Virgo. Gemini. Sagittarius, Aries, Taurus, Cancer, and Leo. Now we'll do letters. We're going to do 11 letters. Initials, first name, last name. If you get both the first and last name, and you know someone's middle name if they have one, you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future, and also your own. Y, P, E, I, G, Y, Y. Oh, they keep on asking why. <laughs> R I W Z. Okay, so letters we have for you today are Y P E I G Y Y R I W Z. Now for the names. Let's see what names we have. Okay, what names do we have? What are the names? Okay, I, 
All right, what are the names? Let's see, what are the names? I think I may have enough. Okay, we have Asma, A-S-M-A-H. We have Rose, no, Rose, Ray. I'll say Rose too, because I said it by mistake. R-A-E for Ray. Carla with a C. Richard, Lori, spelled L-O-R-R-I, Jane, Matthew, Anazel, A-N-A-I-S-E-L, Diane, Victor, what do we have here? I need one more. One more, please. Just one more. And we have Graham. Okay, so those are the names. Now remember, guys, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know what resonates. If it does not resonate, it doesn't make any sense, it's confusing to you, check out like your other places. I mean, they might work out better for you at this time. Uh, but please leave me comments. I love you guys so much. I really appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.